On this episode 9 of the Mambulance series, this old service vehicle gets a new set of clothes. The whole exterior was stripped down, sanded, and prepped for its new gray and black Raptor liner paint job. We show you all the ins and outs of what it takes to totally transform the look of any vehicle. This process went smoothly and the results were far better than we expected. If you're looking for a cheap, durable, easy means of painting any vehicle, you don't want to miss this action-packed episode. So I don't know about you guys, but this looks like a perfect day to paint an ambulance. Look at that sky. Sunny, not damp, perfect. I'm gonna go wake up old Willie Bob from his slumber here. Uh, I see he held on to all the wiring, so that's good. Ooh, check out that grill. Sick. Look at that. Look at that finish. And we've got to tape off all this black and cover it and cover up the solar panels up top. Everything is all taped up and William is now going over the whole ambulance with denatured alcohol. We've got it all covered up. The sun is coming out, so that's a good sign. Please don't turn out ugly. Please don't turn out ugly. So William is wiping down the ambulance with petroleum jelly so that it gets a good finish. Right, that's what you're using? Yeah. Needs to have a nice slippery finish that the paint will stick to, right? What William is doing right now is he's going around with an adhesion promoter. So areas that are gonna be the high touch areas like here around the door handles and things like that. It's from U-Pulse, this is the people who make uh, the uh, Raptor liner. This is the tenable mix. You gotta put in hardener and tint. Okay, so this is one kit, four bottles and one thing of hardener. So this takes one ounce of color per thing. This is a four ounce bottle. I'm gonna put three of these syringes in each one. All right, here goes nothing, huh? All right, so there is one bottle right there. Kind of a dusting on just the one side of the cab. We planned on seeing the stripe, by the way. We knew that would show through, but stripe doesn't look so bad at all. So I, I see this is your favorite part of the process, huh, bud? You know it. You're pretty good at that. So I made William this really awesome present and hopefully he'll appreciate it. Hey bud, I got you something. Oh, thanks, you shouldn't have. How's that, how's that fit? Good? Yeah. Keep the sun out of your eyes, bro. It's like a sombrero, but better. Wait for this, folks. Yes, sir. Ooh. Wow. So this is just Rust-Oleum. Yep. So it looks a little splotchy because there are areas, this is still wet, that's still wet. And same with the side, that's all, yeah. The whole side's all wet, so. What happened here? What happened here? here come on it gives it character come on put get off my foot get off there
and all the black running boards are going on all the black diamond plate that has been painted that i think out of the whole thing that we did we had an issue with the tape and i think that's like our only little flaw he'll have to go back and fix i i really think that was the only thing that needs fixing you know so he actually left the roof white there's a little bit of tape down there we're still going around peeling it off but that is what the roof is looking like We got going on with these bulbs here bud what are those leds or the new so on the top corner lights william is replacing everything with the leds so these leds here were too tall for the lights so since these ground out through the bulb frame we just drilled these and put a screw in the back so if you need new ones of these william put some patio door sliding glass door bump stops on here old ones Wow. New ones. Holy crap, dude. Nice. So William put in new LEDs, but we went with the old rubber grommets because the new ones sucked. And William's over here installing the side marker light. So, so William's got this LED light bar hooked up. Will you come hold these wires on this so I can see what it looks like? What? No. Okay. <laughs> What's in the box, buddy? This would be under the cabinet, underneath the countertop on a rollout. Wow. Whoa. So you got fridge and freezer, 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 fridge and fridge, whatever you want to set it up at, you can go in the menu and set it up. No way. So you have two freezers, two fridges, one That's fridge and freezer. going on. Right up underneath the counter, countertop. Awesome, awesome. That's, wow, it's light. the next update on what the ambulance looks like take a good look of what we've got going on this is with most of the running lights the ac everything pretty much intact at the moment there's a few other things that william's still working on but take a good look at it So William, I'm sitting here going through and editing all this footage and I'm wondering which shade of the 50 shades of gray did you go with? Number 47. There's your answer. Thank you guys for joining us on yet another episode of the Mambulance series. We've got episode 10 coming up. It's gonna be crazy. He's got the kitchen cabinets, the countertop, the AC system, everything is powered on. It's got batteries, it's got the solar working, everything's Bluetooth. I can't even go over all the stuff that's gonna be in the next episode. William is tearing it up. So make sure you guys stick around for the next upcoming episode of the Mambulance series. Yeah.